What's going on, Sons of Fantasy Football League? I want to provide all you guys a quick update um, that I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy. Um, I'll just get right to it. So in light of recent events, your Hall of Fame commissioner decided to add a new layer to the punishments this year. In the beginning, Sons of Fantasy Football League lacked in the punishment department, and that's fully on your commissioner. I will admit that mistake. A true leader admits his mistakes. However, in recent years, we have added some punishments uh, with some success, which include, but are not limited to, Reddit postings, name change, and keeper. You know, these punishments are truly a gift that keeps on giving. Beginning of this year, we added the Rob Clause to our punishments for a clear-cut uh, punishment list for our future cleggers. And for that, I'm thankful. None of you, however, seem to notice one important detail in the update to the Rob Clause. You see, this year, we're adding in another element. An element of surprise? Losing a keeper while at disadvantage isn't really a punishment. I mean, it's a burden that you can overcome. Waves, trades, etc. Changing your team name isn't a punishment at all. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be honest. I don't even know why people are giving you shit for it. Reddit, albeit a Hall of Fame addition to our league, is really only confounded to our league and our viewing pleasure. What we need is something to go along with these punishments to really elevate our Clegger level. What we're lacking, in addition to everything else, is something tangible, something you can touch, nor something you want to be seen with. Going forward, every year the Clegger, along with our other punishments, will also be receiving one other parting gift. Introducing the scallop. Along with our other punishments, the scallop will be awarded to the Clegger every year. There's no avoiding this one. There's no choices on this one. This is a mandatory punishment. I believe the name is self-explanatory. I mean, you can't Ralph all day and miss the draft without getting away with it. There's consequences. Furthermore, and more importantly, I have put a full mush hex on this thing. It's going to be bad luck. I'm telling you right now. I mean, I rubbed everything that you can think of on it. This thing is bad luck. I mean, very, very, very bad juju. Very, very bad juju. Between the hauntings of Clegger's Pass and the mush touch, you are bound to feel the effect of this trophy. Your name, along with our previous Cleggers, will be displayed on the trophy to live with Sons of Fantasy Football League. Wow. But wait, there's more. You don't think I'm just going to give you this trophy and you're going to put it in the closet for a year and forget about it? Hell no. Not only are you in possession of the trophy as a clutter, you must take the trophy to a public place of your choosing and take a picture with it. Then post that picture into our group chat. Now, <clears throat> what is yet to be determined is whether or not we require multiple locations, i.e. more pictures, and public posting. So Instagram, Facebook, etc. That is yet to be determined. We'll work the kinks out. And bottom line, you're in possession of this trophy. You must take it in public and take a picture with it. Bare minimum. Make no mistake, this is a mandatory punishment. There's no way around this one. Full disclosure, while in possession of the scallop, you are 100% responsible for its return. Any damages, loss, stolen, whatever, is a full reimbursement to the commissioner. <laughs> Just make that known, all right? I hope you enjoyed this short break from our fantasy year. Back to the trading block I go.